Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Muhammad Kamal Roshan, lecturer, Department of Mathematics, Scholars, Student College. My dear student, most welcome to all of you to my classes. Inshallah, today we will discuss chapter 2, ratio and percentage. In the last few classes, successively we have completed statistical part, which is data and information. In the five lecture, we have completed our previous chapter. Inshallah, today we will start chapter 2, ratios and percentage. So there are new content here, 2.3 unitary method. In our previous exam, the syllabus was 2.1 and 2.2. The first one was ratio and second 2.2, it was content using the percentage related problem. Then the new content in this syllabus, upcoming final term exam new content is 2.3 which is basically all mathematical problems done by using unitary method so inshallah today we will revise the first two lecture 2.1 and 2.2 then formally we will start 2.3 so my dear students there are only 65 students are connected with us in the comment section you can tell to your friends to connect with us within a short time inshallah we will start our class now in the comment section you can give your attendance like name road section and i think you can also write the name of the students who have done successfully the last class homework i have given you 10 12 mcq and one creative question maximum student done correctly and congratulations to all of you so another comment i think everything is okay and first of all the you can say uh, light quality and the sound, board diagram, left side of the board, right side, top line, and the bottom one, is it everything okay? Can we start our class formally? Please do comments. I think if you face any problems, let me know. Inshallah, we will discuss also. Uh, my dear students, do comments, and already we have completed data and information. If you face any problem, and so let me know inshallah we will discuss first few minutes previous topics then we will come back to our classes and today is the first class on chapter 2 in the chapter 2 we know there are three exercise 2.1 2.2 and 2.3 in our last exam already we have done 2.1 and 2.2 in the new content here 2.3 so before doing this 2.3 we have to revise 2.1 and 2.2 after basic discussion from 2.1 and 2.2 we will discuss 2.3 inshallah yes already from me the said sir everything okay you can start your class formally and Kamrun Nahalaki said yes sir is everything okay thank you sir I think all are you connected with us there are 75 students sorry 78 so I think it will be handed within a short time. My dear student, in the comment section you can write, you can chat to your friends to connect with us. Within a short time, inshallah, we will start our class. Someone says uh, net is slow, that's why. I think is everything okay, inshallah, give attention. Okay, my dear students, uh, let me explain first. Uh, in our previous classes, sound is okay? Yes. In our previous classes and the previous, we have discussed the ratio. I think all of you know what is ratio. There are three, four different types of, five different types of ratio. Simple ratio, unique ratio, equivalent ratio, mixed ratio, and inverse ratio. From above this ratio, one of the most important part and all mathematical formula from your academic group, they have used here equivalent ratio. I think all of you know what is the ratio. Ratio means one kind of uh, compare between two parts, like the selling price and cost price. You can compare them like selling price is greater than cost price, is cost price is greater than selling price. So successively, we will convert this ratio into percentage. So now you see here, the ratio. The ratio has two parts. The first one is small uh, look and this is the angry look. Actually not like this. We are using here two parts. This is called the numerator one 
upper one, which is called the middle one, denominator one. So basically, uh, ratio we change here. This numerator one we always call here antecedent. In the fraction we use here numerator, and the denominator part we can write here subsequent. Sub C U E subsequent. But in fractions we use here this one is denominator and this one is numerator. But in the ratio we use here antecedent and subsequent. So almost we will work here by using antecedent and subsequent. So first of all the, this is the simple ratio like 3 by 4 or 3 by 5. These all are the simple ratio. This simple ratio, just you will get here, this is the only single antecedent and the single digit or single one. This is the subsequent. This is the simple ratio. But now, uh, come back to the points, simple ratio. The next one is unit ratio. When we see here, antecedents, antecedent equals subsequent, both are same. Now give attention, this is the angry react and if both are the shape change and they look the same, the antecedent and subsequent both are same, like 3 by 3 equal unit ratio, unit ratio. And you can also like here 5 by 5, when both are same. You can say here 5 by 5, 10 by 10, 11 by 11. All are unit ratio. So unit ratio basically it will depend by the antecedent and subsequent. Both are same. It may be 100 by 100, 10 by 10, 12 by 12. All are called unit ratio. So value of unit ratio sometimes you have to answer MCQ. Value of unit ratio is always 1. So this is the one of the most important question. The, what is the value of unit ratio? So unit ratio value is 1. Now another one, this is the one of the most important ratios, equivalent ratio. Equivalent ratio, we can convert uh, two ratios or three ratios or more than, uh, more than two ratios uh, in the same subsequent or same antecedent. So, give attention here, equivalent ratios. Like, you can write here one simple ratio is 6 by 4. This is a simple ratio. This is here, antecedent is 6, subsequent, subsequent is 4. But if you divide both case by 2, if you divide 4 by 2, you will get here 2. If you divide 6 by 2, you will get here 3. So, by dividing the same number of antecedent and subsequent, you will get here another ratio. This ratio, new ratio, is equivalent ratios of previous ratios. So, this is the divide method. If you multiply like this one, again, if you multiply 3 with 6, this one will be 18. If you multiply 3, multiply with, like 3 multiply with 6, then 2 multiply with 6, the numerator or antecedent will be 18, this is now 3 to the, and then a 6 to the 12. So, we divide here, all are equivalent ratios. So, my dear students, when you see a simple ratio, Simple ratio indicate you uh, six by uh, six by four. Any simple ratio, we can convert this simple ratio uh, in the smallest unit or large unit. This is called the reduced from antecedent and subsequent. Both are divided by same number, or both find multiply with the same number. You will get here another ratio. This new ratio and previous ratio all are same in measures like eighteen by twelve equal 3 by 2, equal 6 by 4. All are called here equivalent ratio. By using equivalent ratio in exercise 2.1, maximum maths have been done.
by using equivalent ratio and application of equivalent ratio. Sorry, unfortunately, I have to receive call in messenger. Sorry. Okay, come back to the points. There are the 6 by 4 and 3 by 2. Uh, 6 by 4 and 3 by 2. And 18 by 12. All are same. And by multiplying them and dividing them, dividing by the same number or multiply with the same number, you can get the new ratios. All are same in measures that's why we can we can call them as the equivalent ratios the another most important part here mixed ratio or compound ratio so mixed ratio or compound ratio let me explain it like if you see here uh, two simple ratios is one is 3 by 2 another one is 5 by Seven. There are two simple ratios. So now, these two simple ratio, we will convert into a mixed ratio or compound ratio. So, when the two simple ratio, if you convert here as a compound ratio or mixed ratio, here three is antecedent, five is also antecedent. Here two is subsequent and here 7 is also a subsequent this is the 3 by 3 multiply 5 multiply all antecedent part and subsequent part you will get here 3 multiply 5 15 7 multiply 2 equal 14 so this there are two simple ratios simple ratios and this is Mixed or compound ratios. Mixed or compound ratio. So, 3 by 2 and 5 by 4, the two simple ratios converted into a single ratio. If we convert two or more simple ratios into a single ratio, and this is called mixed or compound ratios. So, this is the mixed or compound ratios. Another one is inverse ratios. Like this one, if you consider this one is smart, this is the angle. It's the numerator part and denominator part, if you interchange between them, antecedent changes to subsequent, subsequent changes to antecedents, then this ratio will be inverse ratio, look like this. Like uh, 3, by five, 3 by 5 is like 3 by 5 given ratios. If you convert this one as a 5 by 3, this one will be inverse ratios. So basically inverse ratios, numerator, denominator, denominator, numerator. So they are antecedents, subsequent, subsequent will be antecedents. So my dear students, I think all of you know about these uh, five types of ratio. In our previous classes also we have done these topics and we have solved the mathematical problem by using different types of ratios. So I think uh, if you have any more questions about ratios, please let me know in the comment section. I will answer as far as you demand. Please my dear students, do comments in the comment section. I will review your comments, then I will discuss again. Or inshallah, now we are going to start the second part, which is percentage.
ओके शायद तो काम शान से इस लियर आई थिंक रिपीट इक्विवेलेंट रेशियोस वासे का हम एक सेट सर प्लीज रिपीट इक्विवेलेंट रेशियो इंशाल्लाह ओके गिव एंटीसिडेंट एंड सब्सिक्वेंट थैंक यू आई थिंक वो एनाइट या नूर बेगम सेट ओके थैंक यू सर फॉर योर नाइस कमेंट्स नो क्वेश्चन सर थैंक यू आई थिंक इट्स क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू subsequent and antecedent ratios which is no sir there is no okay now another one uh, you can see here there are two types of ratio when we see here antecedent is greater than subsequent like give attention Like this one, the antecedent part, this is too much large, and subsequent part is smaller. This is called greater quantity. Greater greater quantity. While the antecedent part is greater than subsequent part, like five by two, seven by three, nine by five, they are all antecedent part. Seven, ah, uh, five by two, seven by three, nine by five. The antecedent part is greater than subsequent part. This is called the greater quantity. You will get here one point something or two point something, not. Smaller than one, but when you see here, the subsequent part is greater. Subsequent part is greater, but antecedent part is smaller. Like uh, seven, five by eleven, or seven by fifteen. Here, subsequent part is smaller, antecedent part is greater. Then this will be less quantity, less. Less quantity ratio. So I think all of you know about ratio. Now let me explain the percentages. Inshallah. Uh, two point two. Uh, two point one. Already we have done this mess. Two point two mathematical problems. Have been done by Fozia Miss. Inshallah, uh, in my classes I will uh, review uh, basic definitions or the relations in between ratios and percentages, and then we will come back to unitary method 2.3. So let me know what is percentages. If you see here, uh, this is a square here, and if we draw. If we draw a diagonal here, diagonal divided this square into two equal parts. This is shaded part. This is called one by two portions. That is half portions, and this is another half portions. This half portion is one by two. This one is one by two. So if we convert this one. Into a percentage. This dark or shaded portions is 50 percent. That means half. Half means 50. Now we can convert these fractions, this ratio, into the percentage. Ratio one by two percentage. It will be 50 percent. How we can compare? And if we write here. This is how many portions are dark here? All portions are dark here. Yes, if you divide into two parts, both are dark. So two by two, that is the one. One is unitary method, that is the hundred percent. If you compare two by one part is blank or white, or two by one part is dark shaded design. Here, two by two. In the both part are the 
dark shaded regions. So if you divide 2 by 2, you will get here 1. So this always indicate 1 as a 100 percent. 100 percent part is dark shaded regions. So now you have to know how we can convert these fractions into percentages. If you see here, like 1 by 2. Uh, percent, let me explain the word first. Percent. This is the two different word, par. Par indicate you comparing with each and every unit. A uh, cent indicate you 100. So while you compare any number with 100, then it will be called as a percentage. Like 100, 100, 50. His score in 100 is 50. That means you can write here 50%. If, if in your scoreboard, if I write your mark is obtained mark in mathematics 70%. So what, what is the meaning of this 70% if someone uh, say uh, to you, uh, your math score is 70%. That means this 70% say to you, it is the 70 out of 100. So your obtain mark is 70 out of 100. So we can convert, this is the fractions, when the in fractions, when the subsequent part is 100, when the subsequent, this is the subsequent, When the subsequent part is 100, then this fraction convert into percentage. Here subsequent part is 100, antecedent part is 70, 60, whatever it may be. But while the subsequent is 100, then these fractions you can compare as a percentage. So you can write here 70%. 70% indicate you here 70 out of 100. So his score is 70 out of 100. So now there are, and by using this, uh, by using this percentage, uh, you can make the relations in between them. So now we will convert one unit into another unit. How we can convert ratio into percentage and percentage into ratios? Okay, my dear students, I think, is there any problem? So you can start the next first part. Okay, I think. Uh, next one. All of you see here, circle. If we divide circle into uh, four equal part. Uh, this is dark shaded regions indicate you here total 1 out of 4 out of 4 this is the 1 and if you see here in a circle this is 1 by 2 and if you draw the same circle and just find the shaded region here this is the 3 by 4 so there are uh, 3 different ratios here here you see inside the circle semicircular part is dark or shaded regions 1 4 and 3 4 and if you convert these fractions into percentage what will be here now we can convert convert ratio into percentage percentage ratios into percentage so percent means you have to compare with 100 so if you compare 1 by 2 into 100. So, first, uh, 
if you divide 100 by 2, you will get here 5 to the 10, 0, 0 times 0 equals 0. And if you divide this 100 by 2, you will get here 50. Now you can multiply both case by 50. You will get here 50 by 100. That is 50 percent. This is called the 50 percent. You can compare this ratio into percentage. It will be 50 percent. Now second one, 1 by 4. Now divide 100 by 4. You will get here 4 to the 8. 2 and 0, 4, 5 is 20, this is the 0, 25. So if you multiply 25 with 4, you will get here 100. So you can multiply uh, 4, you can multiply both antecedent and subsequent by 25, you will get here 1 by 4 into fraction. This one will be 25 divided by 100 which indicate you here 25%. So now, this is the 50% here, this is the 25% here. Now, this is the finally third one, this is the 3 by 4 portions are dark area here. So now, in the previous case already we have done 100 divided by 4 you will get here 25 so now multiply 25 both antecedent and subsequent 4 uh, this is the 25 you will get here 100 and this is the 75 which indicate you 75 persons so my dear students if i asked you the question here how many uh, how many portions are dark here? Each one will be 50 persons. In the fractions, we can write here 1 by 2. In the second circuit, one quote part, the fractions one quote indicate you here the 25 percent are dark regions. And here, 3 by 4 portions are dark or shaded regions, which indicate you here 75 persons. So I think we can convert these fractions, these ratios or fractions into percentages. Another one, if you convert this percentage into fractions, how you can start this one? Okay, my dear students, I think, is it clear to all of you? Uh, you can do comments, is it clear to you? Convert ratios into percentage, is it clear to you or not? and you can write in the comment sections. Then we will convert percentage into ratios. Okay, it's clear. Ume Salma, Mongur sir, clear sir. 1 by 4 is 20 percent. No, 1 by 4 is uh, 25 percent. Thank you. Next thing, another student's correct. Uh, I think Arnas Noyar said 1 by 4, 20 percent. Sabi Hussain uh, corrected to her. Good, okay. 1 by 2, 50 percent. Nasri Nakta said 50 percent. Yes, sir, is everything okay? Thank you, sir. Almost missed the whole classes, no problems. I will watch the and record class. Thank you. Those who have missed this class, and you can see the record classes, and within a short time, uh, I can. Uh, I will upload this content in my YouTube channels. So if you have more, any more questions, uh, just feel free to ask me any more questions. Inshallah, come on, sir is always prepared to answer you as far as your demand. Okay, my dear students, so this is the way too easy. Okay. Uh, now let me explain another one. We will convert the percentage into ratios. Uh, let me explain. This is the 50 percent and the fractions was 1 by 2 equals to 50 percent. Now, convert percentage into 
ratio or decimal number. Like this is the 50 percent. This is the 50 percent first one. This is the 50. This percent symbol indicate you here 1 by 100. I think all of you know about this. Percent. In our previous classes, when I was a student of uh, uh, four and five, like as you, my teacher said, persons mean person. Person means the one fraction line then divided by. So, person means you can write here. Persons indicate you the one fraction line divided by hundred. Now, this single number will be converted as into one. So. You can uh, multiply this 50 divided by 1. So now to divide between them 50 to times 100, this one will be 1 by 2. Is it okay? Now 25%. So as like as previous one, 25% uh, will be 25 multiply 1 by 100. If you divide, you will get here 4. That is 1 by 4. So this is the 1 by 4. Already we have done here. This is the 75%. So my dear students, 75% as like as previous one. This one will be 75 by 100. Now you can divide by, uh, you can divide by 5, like 520, uh, 5 2 is a 10, 5 20, 100, 5 1 is a 5, 5 5 is a 25. Then you can divide again with 5. This one will be 5 3 and this one will be 4. So if you convert this one, 75 percent reduced from of 75 percent is 3 by 4. Already we have uh, we have done here the fractions or ratios converted into percentage. So percentage converted into ratio will give you same answer. 1 by 4 converted, this one will be 25 percent. So 25 percent will be 1 by 1 by 4. The 3 by 4, 75%, definitely 75% will be 3 by 4. So I think if I ask you the questions, convert uh, fractions into ratios or ratios into fraction, ratios into percentage or percentage into ratios, so I think you can answer properly. So my dear students, let me uh, review you. I am giving you another example here. You can convert this one into the percentage. Who can convert this one into the percentage? Number A. Number A. 1 by 5 equal what percent? Number B. 2 by 7. Uh, 2 by 10 equal. 2 by 10 equal what percent? Uh, number C. Number C. 5 by. 5 by uh, 20 equal what percent? Uh, number D, number D, 1 by 30 equal what percent? So I'm giving you three. Uh, I'm giving you three minutes. Within these three minutes, you can answer. This one, the first. Time three minutes. Within these three minutes, you can answer number one, A, B, C, and D. Convert fractions into percentage. This title name. Convert ratio. Ratio into percentages. Percentages. Already, I mean, sign says sir, A will be twenty percent, and then Miti Mahi say twenty percent, twenty percent A. Okay, and to answer number B, C, and D. My dear students, I will review your comments. I just want to get the students, those who have complete number one to number four. 
I'm giving you three minutes, so within three minutes, please try to complete four MCQ. Convert ratio into percentage. Why students are reducing? Why students are reducing? My dear students, please don't leave the class. Just I will stay here only five minutes. Within five minutes, inshallah, we will complete our class. Please. Yes, another one. Double, double protein. Jafra Bhutira said, sir. No. Double protein said. Already comments gone. Okay, I will review by using my phone. I am already dying. Why you are trying to write in even comments? My dear students, be quiet. C is 25 percent. No, C never be 25 percent. Oh, C is 25. 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is 25 percent. It will be C is 25 percent. D is 3.333 3 percent. Yes, someone is doing the fractions out here. So you can try here 3.33 persons. Okay, I think maximum students you are trying to write that array answer and congratulations all of you those who have done. Uh, complete number one to number four. Okay, let me explain first. Already we have done this one five. Uh, one by five, this one will be if you convert this one into hundred directly, you can multiply five. Uh, then five, if you divide hundred by five, you will get your five to the ten zero zero. You can convert here. So this is the twenty. So multiply your twenty, you will get here. Uh, 20 by 100 indicate you 20 percent. So first questions comparing with 100 you will get here 20. Another one this is the 10. So 10 multiply directly with 10 you will get here 100. 10 multiply with 10 and this is the so 2 multiply with 10. So this one will be 20 by 100 also indicate you 20 percent comparing with the 100. And this is the 20. So 20 multiply with if you multiply 20 uh, by 5, then you will get here 100. So 5 multiply 20, multiply 5, then 5 multiply the 5. The numerator one is the 25 and the denominator one is the 100. So this one will be 25 persons. And let me explain the last one, which is little bit difficult. Okay. Uh, 30 and 30, how you can convert this one, 1 by 30? So, this number, we cannot divide 100 by 30. So, you can do this one by using this method, 1 multiply with 100, and then 30 multiply with 100. This is another method. If you think, you cannot convert this 30 into 100, by multiplying this 30 by any other numbers directly, then you can multiply 100 both antecedent part and subsequent part. Now, it will be reserved to compare with 100. Then, you can, this is now, if you divide this one, and this one will be reserved for comparing with 100. Now, 3 by 10. You can like here, uh, 3 by 10, or you can, 3 by 10, 100, or you can write here, 10 divided by 3 multiply 1 by 100, that is 10 by 3 percent. You can write here 10 by 3 percent, or, uh, or 10 by 3, if you divide you, you will get here 3 point, 3, 3, 3, or you can write here after 2 decimal place. I think 3.33 percent. So this answer will be 3.33 percent. I think maximum student have done this one 3.33 percent. Congratulations to all of you those who have done this one correctly. 
just I want to say you, if this number cannot divide 100 uh, with the remainder is 0, so directly you can multiply both numerator and denominator into 100. So this 100 will be reserved to compare with 100. This 100, you can take the reserve and comparing with 100, like 1 by 100. So you can reduce this 100 with any other number. So using now 10 by 3, 10 by 3, so by comparing them, 100, 10 by 3 of 100, indicate you 10 by 3 persons, because totally this number uh, compared with 100, so this one will be 10 by uh, 10 by 3 persons. So if you divide this one, you will get here 3.33 persons. So, my dear student, the maximum student have done this one properly. The next part, which is unitary method. Inshallah, from tomorrow, we will start formally unitary method. So, today, my instruction to all of you, revise properly exercise 2.1 and 2.2. Inshallah, tomorrow, we will discuss unitary method, chapter 2.3. Hopefully, see again with you in the next classes wish you all the best assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah don't forget to subscribe triangular kamal